Last week we left Pensacola, Florida and headed east. We love staying on farms through Harvest Hosts. So we stayed one night at a beautiful small farm near Live Oak, Florida. Oh yeah, they're farms. Yeah, we like chickens, turkeys. They, uh, they eat ticks and stuff though. So, oh, that's good. Yeah, they're really good to have on property. <laughs> I love chickens. <laughs> so cool. After a good night's rest, the sun is starting to rise, so it's time to say goodbye to our new bovine friends and head out to find some natural springs. We're at our first spring of the day. We tried another one first, but um, it said it was there is no swimming allowed due to brownout. I don't know what that's from, but it sounded pretty nasty. So we're going to a second spring and we'll see how this one goes. This one is really high and it's really not clear. A couple people here, not a whole lot. We're thinking we're gonna maybe go on to another one. And stop number three. Looks like we're not gonna visit it either. Third, no, fourth? Fourth. Fourth one of the day. <laughs> and it's actually open, so we're gonna go check this, this one out. This one is Itchitutney Springs State Park. Itchitutney! Itchitutney! Is it cold? Do you think I should run? That's it. If you want to, go for it. Uh, Watch out for sis if you do. Sis, scoot over, son. No. Oh. Is it cold? <laughs> no, man. Is it cold? Yeah. Oh, no. I can't believe you. Take your breath away? No. I mean, yeah. Oh, he's old. What did y'all think of that one? I loved it. And cold. That's beautiful. I felt the video much at this spring because we were having so much fun together. But then we packed it up and headed to St. Augustine. In 2019, we sold our house and began traveling full time. For more than five years now, we've been educating our kids out in the world. We're so excited for you to join us as we explore God's beautiful creation, experience various cultures, and adventure together as a family. We're Broken Wing Adventures! We have reservations at Favor Dykes starting tomorrow night, but we came a day early hoping we could get a site tonight. Thankfully, we were able to get one. So tomorrow, we'll go do the Hop On Hop Off trolley tour to learn the history of St. Augustine. So we decided against doing the hop on hop off trolley tour today because we had to move. Since we came a day early to this state park, the site that we're scheduled to stay in um, tonight and tomorrow night was already booked for last night. So we are moving sites right now. Um, we're gonna get set up and then we're just gonna go explore some on our own around St. Augustine. And I think tomorrow we'll do the hop on hop off trolley tour.
y'all, the kids are so excited. Their cousin's name is Augie, and so they're really wanting us to eat here. It turned out to be really good. In fact, I have a full review of it on our website. In 1972, my parents came to St. Augustine on their honeymoon, and so the kids and me were pretty excited to get our pictures made in front of the old wooden schoolhouse where they had their picture made 52 years ago. We were going to check out the lighthouse, and we got a heart-wrenching call. Apparently, the electricity went out at the campground a few hours ago. It's really hot outside, and our cat Cookie is inside the camper. Well, we raced back to the campground. When we got here, I got out just before the kid. Honestly, I was afraid that I was gonna see a horrible sight. But thankfully, our battery kicked in and Cookie was just fine, nice and cool inside. This is the old city gate, constructed of Coquina in 1808. Beyond it is St. George Street, where so much history lies. Y'all, St. George Street is so cool. If you want to know more about the history of it, you can check out our website. I have a full article on there about St. Augustine. But we know we don't have time to hit all the things we want to hit this time around. So we're really thinking about coming back and putting together an even more complete video and article. Now it's trolley time. From beautiful buildings, to art, to museums. Gardens, and delicious restaurants. St. Augustine is worth the visit, but it's the history that really sets this place apart. This area was originally inhabited by the Timucuan Native Americans. In 1513, the first European settlers, led by Juan Ponce de Leon, set foot in what would eventually become the United States of America. Ponce de Leon and his three ships came ashore at the Fountain of Youth. 52 years later, in 1565, Pedro Menendez de Avales officially founded St. Augustine in the same location where Ponce de Leon had discovered the fountain, making St. Augustine the oldest city in America. Buildings were built. Conflict ensued. So in 1672, construction began on Castillo de San Marcos, a massive fort constructed of Coquina. The original construction took 23 years to complete, giving the Spanish a safe place to retreat by 1695. In 1702, the fort was put to the test. English forces led by Governor James Moore of Charleston attacked St. Augustine, capturing the town. They fired cannons at the fort, but to their surprise, the cannonballs bounced off the coquina or at worst, sunk a few inches into the stone. The English couldn't conquer the fort, so they retreated, burning down the entire town as they left. The Spanish could only watch in horror as their homes and community were burned to the ground. Oh my goodness, how amazing. This is where they used to sleep. Wow. Um, we restricted it. Yeah, but it just shows what it would have been like. Wow. realize this and say, well, if they've got a cannonball, they can shoot 
across the water, and it's still going to be moving fast enough to penetrate the hull of the ship, but still be hot enough to blow up the gun, ignite the gunpowder, and blow up the ship. So that was hmm. what that was for. Mm -hmm. When they were under attack, 1,500 people would gather in here to, for safety. Through the early 1700s, St. Augustine bounced back from that attack. Homes were rebuilt and families recovered. One home that was built after the fire still stands today and is now a museum visitors can tour to get a taste of life from the early years. Constructed of coquina and cedar, it has stood the test of time, and it is considered Florida's oldest surviving Spanish colonial dwelling. In 1740, St. Augustine was attacked again, this time led by General James Oglethorpe. The attack lasted 27 days, but again, the English could not penetrate the fort. Control of St. Augustine changed hands from the Spanish to the British and back to the Spanish. By 1888, technology was advancing and the city was booming. An American industrialist and co-founder of Standard Oil, Henry Flagler, had fallen in love with St. Augustine. He invested large sums of money into the advancement of the city. Not only did he provide the funding for numerous elaborate church buildings to be constructed in the city, but he also invested in tourism. Flagler built Ponce de Leon Hotel. This exquisite resort had electricity at a time when electricity was not common. In fact, some guests were even afraid to turn the light switches on and off because it was so foreign to them. The interior was designed by Louis Comfort Tiffany, son of the founder of Tiffany & Co. Tiffany's stained glass windows that are still in the building today were valued over 10 years ago at more than $130 million. During World War II, the hotel was used to train the U.S. Coast Guard. And in 1968, Ponce de Leon Hotel was converted into the liberal arts college that it is today and rightfully named Flagler College. Can you imagine eating in the dining hall of your college, surrounded by $130 million worth of artwork in the form of windows? For an even more nostalgic feel, take a walk down a vile street. While various cities lay claim to the oldest street in America, none date back as far as a vile street in St. Augustine. Pottery shards dating from the early 1600s were recently discovered under the brick paving. It would be a tight contender with Leyden Street in Plymouth, Massachusetts that was built by the Pilgrims in 1620, but this recent discovery appears to oust Leyden from the top slot. And it makes a great place for some pictures. While it is not a permanent fixture in St. Augustine, we happened to catch a replica of the Neo Trinidad dock there when we visited, so we had to check it out. The original Neo Trinidad was part of the Magellan Elcano expedition from 1519 that sailed with three other ships from Spain across the Atlantic, through the Strait of Magellan, which this expedition discovered, to the Pacific Ocean. By the time they reached what is now the Spice Islands, only the Neo Trinidad and Victoria remained. The Victoria went on to be the first ship to completely circumnavigate the globe, but the Neo Trinidad was captured by the Portuguese. You see this, guys? Come here, guys. Sailed for three months and 20 days with no fresh food touching our lips. The cake we ate was no longer bread, but rather a powder mixed with maggots that Ooh. devoured all the subs substance. And that had an unbearable stench from being drenched in rat urine. Oh. Wait. You see what it is? The it's water right. that we were forced to drink was equally putrid and foul smelling. So as not to die from hunger, we reached the awful point of eating chunks of leather that had covered the main mast 
to prevent the wood from wearing away the ropes. Yeah. Well, the, the one thing that the placard on disease fails to talk about is the fact that those sailors could have lived if they would have just hunkered down and eaten the rats. Ooh. Ooh. Aye, they have an organ in their body that produces vitamin C. They're basically just sunny days walking around. <laughs> wow! <laughs> This is what's here, right here. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, that makes sense. That's cool. Wait, what was, what's this that? is what steered it right here. It makes the tiller on the back of the boat, and they call it a tiller, turn sideways. So this wow. is what they use to steer it. Creepy, isn't it? We have officially made our plans to return to this beautiful city soon when we have a little more time to explore it in greater depth. Be on the lookout for our road schooling history video in early 2025 that will teach more about the incredible history of America's oldest city. What's this one do, Mark? Uh, I wonder what's going to happen in that building. It says wood. Oh look, look, it's going. That's the crane, the exit station. Wood. Wood. Oh, the guy, the little guy right there, he's chopping wood. You see him? Yeah. But for now, it's time to pack it up and continue on our journey. Yeah, please take your time. Turning around, backing down on the left hand side. The left hand side of the trolley, please. I want to thank you again for riding with us today, folks. Have a great visit here and God bless. Here is your bell. Thank you so much for being a part of our adventures. Any guesses where we are heading now? Tune in next week to find out. It sure would mean a lot to us and help out our family if you would like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest at Broken Wing Adventures. Or check out our website at www.brokenwingadventures.com.